steadfastly maintain that the Black Lives Matter movement is unnecessary or demeaning is both unfair and unproductive. To audaciously assert again and again that all lives matter is the consequence of failing to give this movement the benefit of the doubt. I confess that I was slow to do this when the Black Lives Matter movement first started because I feared that its name would further divide a people who continue to struggle in their attempts to unite. However, the brokenness of our institutions, which are in part built upon some treacherous traditions coupled with our pronounced fear or our shame in admitting such a history, led me to reevaluate my initial concern. I now recognize the true spirit of and embrace the need for such a movement. Consider the matter from this perspective. Feminism is a movement born out of a desire to identify as well as eliminate, where possible, the enslavement, oppression, and maltreatment of women. First, I wish to challenge your sensibilities with a couple of questions. Can you imagine that Women's Lives Matter could have turned out to be the name of such a movement? It seems to be an accident that the term feminism is what won the day. Second, ask yourself how productive it would be to respond to such concerns by starting a masculinism movement. I suspect that such a reaction would have been more divisive than helpful. Moreover, feminists are not exclusively focused on issues dealing with the subjugation of women. For instance, feminists aim to protect children from the devastating effects of poverty. They work to educate members of a community or culture so as to improve the quality of life for everyone who is a part of it. Indeed, in my heartfelt opinion, a genuine feminist must also demand justice when men are systematically being abused or experiencing unfair mistreatment precisely because imposed inequality due to one's sex organs or gender identification is unhealthy for any thriving society. Finally, whether or not you agree with such a nuanced conception of feminism, it is overwhelmingly clear that both men and women are feminists. Both sexes have come together with a common commitment to identify the unfair or unreasonable practices, sometimes unbearable conditions, encountered due to one's sex or gender. Males and females are united in their concerted efforts to effectively address the socioeconomic, cultural, and political forces that promote such injustice. Feminists are not scheming to create a war between the sexes, just as Black Lives Matter supporters are not plotting to create a battle between those who are lighter skinned and darker skinned. The feminist movement is not attempting to undermine men or devalue male lives, just as the Black Lives Matter movement is not aiming to undermine people of different races or devalue white lives. One could point out that compromised, if not reprehensible, agendas exist in the minds or hearts of some activists. Maybe there are man-hating feminists who are under the impression that men are evil or who advocate that the world would be a better place if males were systematically eliminated. I suppose that is possible. Perhaps there are racist Black Lives Matter supporters who would delight in seeing white police officers killed while protecting protesters demanding reform. I guess this too is possible. Nonetheless, understanding the need for a movement and valuing its momentum are not the same as one, agreeing with the opinions of all persons participating in the movement, or two, justifying the actions of all of its supporters. Of course there could be individuals supporting a cause who hold repugnant views or engage in violent or irrational behaviors. This is because humans are, well, human. Each of us is wounded and imperfect in our own unique way, and many of us, at least some of the time, act in woefully inappropriate, offensive, or harmful ways. However, even if such persons exist, those individuals would not and should not define what these movements stand for. They could not rightfully be portrayed as representing the ideals of these movements, and they ought not to be used as justification that such movements lack value, import, and purpose. When we take a step back, 
When our views are guided by the principle of charity and influenced by thoughtful deliberation, we find ourselves able to appreciate that the cries of injustice echoing from the Black Lives Matter movement are not at all about prioritizing one race over another. Its demands and continued call for us to engage in meaningful action or protests are aimed at bringing us together as one united people who are motivated by compassion and driven by a relentless desire to secure safe and fair conditions for all members of society just like any movement concerned with civil rights issues. Even though they have the power to do so, fear and shame should not win the day. Compassion is always our better teacher. Our sensibilities and actions are best guided by a deep desire to see our fellow citizens thrive. For only in such an environment will we ourselves truly flourish.